little Valentine's Day box for whoever you want. Uh, you can cut on the laser engraver. It was going to slide open. I'm going to create this heart box in Autodesk Inventor. I'm going to do it with two different parts, the top part and then the other one, and then create an assembly. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is create a new standard part, create, and I'm going to create the own geometry for that heart. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a 2D sketch on that XY plane. I'm going to start by creating a rectangle, snapping it to origin, 2, tab 2, enter, put it to the screen, create a circle. I'm going to snap right at the midpoint, drag it till it's tangent, and I'll do that again from this midpoint to it's tangent. Right click, OK. Then I'll go back and delete these parts of the rectangle and trim out these pieces. So here's the trim key. Trim that off. Right click OK. This is my first part. I'm finished with it. I'm going to extrude it out. Uh, let's say it's a quarter inch thick. Actually, it's an eighth. But So there's my part. I'm going to change the material to get a little more depth. It's uh, Birchwood. Okay, and then this is key file management. I go file, save as. And I'm going to save this actually on my desktop. And I have a folder called mini heart box. And it's called part one. So here's my first part. And then I'm going to create a second part. Uh, create new part. I'm going to draw this heart the same way. I'm going to start with a 2D sketch in this plane. Start with a rectangle starting at the origin. 2, tab 2, enter. Put to the screen. And right click OK. I'll create a circle. I'll snap at the midpoint until it's tangent. Not midpoint, and it's tangent. Right click OK. And then from there, I'll go back. And delete this line out, that line out, and then I use a trim key to trim up these circles. So that's an identical heart right there. Next thing I'm going to do there is use the offset. I'm going to select this and offset it in. I think 0.25. So there's my offset. Right click OK. I'll finish that sketch. I'm going to extrude that out an uh, eighth of an inch. Whoops. Yeah, there it is. And I'm going to give that material as well wood birch. So there's my second heart. I could do the dowel and the hole, but I think in this example, I'm just going to do these two parts. Again, file, save as, uh, part two. So I've created my two parts. Next thing I'm going to do is create an assembly. So I go new, assembly. So this is going to be a standard IAM assembly. And what I'm going to place is, I'm going to go to that folder. So on my desktop, a mini heart box. I'm going to place part one first. And I'm actually going to place it twice, so once and a second time. Right click, OK. And this is actually where I'm going to start using my 3D mouse. That's really going to help move it around. So this is going to be my top, and this is going to be my bottom. And now I'm going to place this part, the cutout. I'll place it once, twice, right click, OK. Now I need to put all these pieces together. I'm going to do that with constraint. This is a mate, and I'm going to hold the faces together. So I'm going to mate the bottom of this to the bottom of that. Apply. And you can see now that it's mated, it, it's staying on that flat plane. But I need to constrain it in three different ways, degrees of freedom. So I'm going to do that with a constraint right here. I'll do that with this edge and that edge. Apply. You now I'm all over the place here. And again, I'll do a flush from that edge to that edge. Apply. And now, I know it's hard to see 3D. 
that part's stuck, so it won't go anywhere. I'm going to go to a mate, and I'll do my second cutout. Now if I zoom in a little more, I'm going to snap on that face. I want to bring it down to that face. Apply. And then I'll flush that edge to that edge. Apply. And I'll flush that edge to that edge. Apply. So now I got my three layers in, my base. Okay. And lastly, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mate my top down to there, apply, and I'll use a mate here to that edge. And again, I'm going to flush that to that. Yeah, so there's my box fully assembled. Again, this is my IAMI assembly. There, I only have two parts placed both twice. Now I'm all finished. Again, I save this, file save as. Uh, this is going to be my assembly one. I'm going to create one more drawing, and, and this is going to be a new file, a new DWG, so a standard DWG create. And what I'm going to do in here, this is C size paper. We go over here and use A size, A size paper. Um, and that looks like a pretty good fit. Let me, let me place it again. So I hit base. Hopefully it's in the right place. You know, on my desktop mini heart box, the assembly one. I'm going to place it. I think it'll fit in a one to one view. So I'm going to left click, left click, left click, right click, create. So here's my assembly. I'm going to place an ISO top right. Whoops. I said top right. No, maybe. That's a better view. It's pretty crowded there, so I'm going to actually do this in a one to four view. Let's try one to two view. I'm going to fill a page, but I don't want to crowd it. This little box here is going to give me pigment. So it looks pretty good right there. Right click, OK. And then when I want to annotate this, I go to annotate and I put in my dimensions. This is sheet two or two because that C size paper was my first sheet. So I got to go back and delete this sheet out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three sheets here. One for my assembly, one for each one of my parts. So I'm going to create a new sheet. This is going to be sheet two or two. This time I'm going to place a part in here. Um, I want to go to my desktop where that folder was and grab a part. I'll place my first part. Let me scale this one to one. So this will be my second sheet. Right click OK. I'll drop an ISO in here, dimension this, and I'll create a third sheet. And my first sheet is going to be my assembly, my second, my first part, and then so forth. So you have sheets for all your parts. Again, you want to put dimensions on them. You do that under annotate, dimension, and to fill in text, you use this text button right there. Okay.